Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 13 of Darwell20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series. Uh, I'm harvesting rubber. Uh, between episodes, I set up a little bit of a rubber tree farm here. Uh, you know, basically doing the rubber tree thing, right? Standard, uh, anybody who's seen any of my series ever has probably at least seen something like this in the past. Right? Pretty straightforward process. And getting myself a bunch of resin so that we can turn it into rubber because we're going to do a little bit of IC2 work today. Um, we're going <coughs> to uh, probably just get, you know, a few machines going and maybe a generator and some kind of power storage just so that we have access to some IC2 based stuff because uh, we're going to be, you know, clearly needing some of it to progress. A lot of the progression of machines requires some IC2 based uh, resources. So that's what we're working on. Cool beans. The one thing I don't love is how resin falls into the world. It's always like derpy, but it's all good. Um, and every time I come by my farm here, I just, you know, harvest whatever is available, right? Just, just collect the stuff so that it can grow again. And that's pretty much how farms work, right? Maybe at some point soon we'll get some automation going with this stuff. Uh, I get the feeling that automation is a big part of this pack. Uh, hoping that we can get into automation sooner than later. Uh, we'll, we'll ideally get like some kind of sorting system going at some point. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. For now, though, I've got resin, and I'm excited about that. So I use my bone meal to grow uh, the stuff there. We've got a few materials that we're ready to go with. Uh, what else might I need to get into things? I don't know. Not too much. I'm probably going to need that forge hammer. Um, I, I also... Let me... I'm continuously uh, smelting resources as time goes on. So like over here, sword is off, good. So do that. And then you guys made a bunch of that for me. So I kind of let my machines over there run and process materials kind of passively, if you will, between episodes. So that's all set, right? So now we should be good to go with some of this stuff. So let's get another crafting table in here, because I did have one at one point, and I uh, at some point got rid of it. That works. It almost blends in. You almost can't tell that it's it's hiding up there. So we're gonna want some basic IC2 stuff, right? Um, I, should, I should look at the quest chapters just so we know what's up. Now I do have a wrench from IC2, and I thought I made a forge hammer at some point, because we are gonna want one of them. We have a few cables couple minor IC2 things. Oh good, we do have a cutter already and a forge hammer. Nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. We've got a couple tree taps going on. We have a couple tin cables. Is there anything else? I'm one of my overclocker upgrades for sure because those are just nice things to have and I might as well snag the iron plates that I have. Anything else I think I should grab IC2 related? I think that's good for now. So let's get like a basic set of stuff up. So what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Let's look at quests, right? Industrial craft quests, right? Did I do the, the gate? I did. I marked the gate complete, right? So I can mark you complete, uh, which means that we can claim a loot reward. Uh, and we probably already knocked out a few of these quests, which is neat. Hey, glowing glass from extra utilities. That's nice. It's glass that glows. Cool. And we completed rubber. I'm gonna stay over here because I have a handful of things to hand in. Right, we made a generator at some point. Um, I don't remember what for, but we did. So that was a loot box quest too. That was a loot box quest. Cool, so bricks. Sure, why not? And a golden egg from open blocks. I don't entirely know what that's for. Mm -mm. No idea. It's a golden egg. So, we've now got a few quest things out of the way, but we're totally going to need a generator. We should make a bat box, um, but I kind of want an MFE if I can. I just know that requires some diamonds, and I don't know if I want, you know, to investigate in that, uh, or invest in that. But a bat box, we, do, we, we may or may not need a decent amount of IC2 setup stuff going on. Uh, but what would be involved in a bat box? If I wanted to get a simple bat box, it's just an insulated tin cable um, and some batteries, which ain't too bad, right? 
So batteries are 10 item casings, right? Which is a tin plate with a hammer. So let's get some plating. Let's get like 16 is a number I'm making up off the top of my head as to how much plating I want. And I'm hoping that that doesn't come back to bite me. Are you running? You're running good. So let's get over here. How are we for 10 ingots? Not, not a whole lot going on. I think I've got some cooking over there in my mechanism room. So we'll have a little bit more tin shortly. Uh, but definitely getting a little low on the stuff. Do I have rubber handy? Rubber? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Just checking to see if I had any. It might be hiding in the resources chest, but I, I would have put rubber, I would have intended for rubber to be sitting in that other chest. So let's get our extractor here um, and throw a little bit of redstone in just to get the ball rolling. How are you guys doing? Nice. Looking good to me. 11, one more. One more will be uh, good for me. 12. Cool. So if I want six of these to make the 12 10 item casings that we're going to need for the batteries for the bat box, I just now need the rubber and I need one of you guys to be cut because I need a little bit more of that stuff. Cool. Okay, so with that taken care of, that should be 3x batteries. Okay, which means a bat box should be makeable. Sweet. Let's put away some junk that I probably don't necessarily need. I have a lot of iron on me. Why is iron in here? Iron doesn't belong in there. Iron belongs in here. Thank you very much. Trying to stay organized. Failing, but trying. Uh, let's also put away a few other things I probably don't need at this exact moment. Just cause. That should be sufficient. And in here, I'm going to put these guys. Maybe not the sticks. Works for me. So I see two, right? Uh, so that's a bat box. So we can do that and we can shift right click the top, which means the bottom is where the power output is going to go. Right? Um, now 10 can do 32 EU per tick. This guy outputs 32 EU per tick. So 10 cabling is probably your best bet for right now, right? I'd like to bump that up. Isn't CESU? That's the next tier at 128. That's power tier two. I might be able to get that going. How much can that hold? 300,000? That doesn't look bad. It's a lot of bronze, which means I'm going to need more copper. Uh, we're going to need a healthy amount of copper for that. And we are, copper is the thing I have the least of at the moment. So absolutely need to go mining if I want to get that going. So I'm going to hold off a little bit. Uh, but what I can do is cut you up. Because I just want to get the basics, right, of, of this stuff going. I want to get the basics going, right? So a generator from Industrial Craft uh, is going to need... I know we're going to need a furnace to be turned into an iron dude. And then we need another battery. So that means two of you hammered up, right? Uh, cool and cool. And then I can snag just a stack of coal because we have lots of that stuff. And now we're good, right? So I can take my redstone out of here. You're going to fill up with power. And everybody's happy. Nice. Now the two things I'd like to get are metal formers, if I may. Uh, because I know for actually additions, I need some gold stuff, right? So metal formers is going to need a little bit of bronze. So let's see what I've got by way of bronze. I have some copper plates. And I have some copper gears. So if I wanted to salvage the copper from them, I could... Uh, we might have some bronze already made, but I feel like I've been using that a lot lately. So I might, I might have to go mining for this to work. But let's see, can I melt you back down? I can. Good. So you'll turn into like a bunch of bronze for me, which is good. Or copper for me, that's cool. So we'll put like two of you guys in there. And let's make sure that this is off for a minute. Yeah, it was supposed to be off, but that's okay. There you go. Cool. 
So there's some bronze ingots, right? Um, let's put you in ingot mode, because that's what I need. Bronze, and some more copper. Nice. I don't know if that's enough bronze. Let's see, because I need 10 of those. Let's turn you off for a minute, because I need bronze plates, and we have five bronze left. Perfect. So that'll be the 10 bronze dudes that I need. And then in addition to that, I need some copper cables. So that's going to be some copper plates as well. Oh, I have copper ingots on me. Look at that. Woohoo. So that's okay. We'll be good. So that'll be 10. And realistically, I need 8, 16, 24. I need 12 plates, right? 12 plates, I think is correct, for the amount that I need. So the bronze plates can be turned into that. And once we get the metal former, the production of cables and wires and all that stuff will be more efficient, and that'll be nice. I guess I mathed that wrong. I thought I had... Yeah, so I need four more copper plates to turn into eight more cables so that we can make this, right? And then we should be good, assuming that we have one of these mechanism connector things, because those are way cheaper to make. These things, super cheap, right? It's literally a piece of osmium and redstone. This, way more complicated, right? Uh, so, yeah, we will absolutely be using mechanism circuits where we can. It's just, it's just faster and easier and cheaper and all around better. And this, by the way, will satisfy my request to have a better way to make plates. Better being subjective. Um, maybe better. Maybe, maybe not better. We'll find out. But at the very least now, we have three of you. Oh, that's right, we need chests. Which are annoying to make. But I have two, so I'm happy. And then we do have machine casings, don't we? Didn't we get a couple of those? Basic machine casings, we do. Nice. So we can turn one of them into this. Now we might need another cable. Do we not have... Another one of these insulated cable dudes. We might need one more. Uh, so I can take you. Cut you up, and we're good to go. Metal former, huzzah! That's cool. So now we have a much more efficient way of doing the metal forming thing, right? And we have a few overclock upgrades if we decide at some point that we'd uh, really appreciate having a better approach, right? That's cool. So you're pretty good. Hello, Enderman. I see you chilling out there. Mocking me. Oh, you're coming into my base, eh? Yeah, come see my pool. It's beautiful this time of year. How am I for Lapis? You're pretty good. Now might not be a bad time to throw a little bit more lapis on my sword. I think four stacks is enough. Because, I mean, while looting one is nice. Oh, wow, I need even more. <laughs> that much more looting would be extra nice. Plus, you don't need that much lapis for stuff. Plus, we know a way to dupe Lapis. <laughs> cool. Hey, we've got a metal former. How great is that? So that means we can make those wires that we need for actually additions just that much faster, right? Um, part of me wants to make that stamper thing from, from, ice, from, from Immersive. Part of me wants to make that, but we'll see. Uh, for now, let's put away this stuff. Cool. 
So if we want to take a look at what I'd kind of like to do is get the empower going sooner than later. Right, so quest wise, how did we make out? We got this quest done. And that gave me some obsidian TNT from Mechanism, which I am terrified of, and I have no idea what that does, and I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to know. All right, guys, I think I'm going to make the um, metal press from Immersive. Uh, I'm going to stick it over in my Immersive Engineering corner, and I think I can squeeze it right here without too much of a problem. That might be a nice... It's not the biggest machine in the world, luckily. Uh, it's big, but it's not that big. However, in order for me to make it, I need a couple blocks that I haven't made yet. So I need some nickel and some copper to make some constantin. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get our constantin ingots. We also need some copper plates, which should be in here that I just made. Uh, there's your constantin coming out. Constantin. Everybody always yells at me about how I pronounce things. I try. So that should be good for a redstone engineering block, I believe, right? So if I do this, 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 this... There's our redstone engineering blocks. We also need heavy... Well, that's a lot of things. Okay, uranium plates? <sighs> We're also needing steel scaffolding uh, to make this. So that's your standard steel ingot recipe. So that's cool at least. Hey, quest complete, engineering block. I don't think I have uranium. And furthermore, I don't think it tells you what the thing is, but I don't think I quite have it. So let's get an obsidian mining dude. Sharpening kit? Yeah, obsidian sharpening kit. So we should get a sharpening kit, and we need two blocks of obsidian for that. So let's cook those down, and then we can apply that to our tool so we can mine it. How's that sound? So sharpening kit. Where is a sharpening kit? Isn't there a pattern for it in here, or am I completely crazy? That's it. It looks funny. I forgot. That's what it is. Okay, cool. So you can go in there. We get our sharpening kit out of you. Boop. And then... Hopefully you didn't, like, pour out Mr. Obsidian, right? Okay, you're not even done melting, so there's that. And we'll throw aluminum brass in there because something tells me I might need uh, more sharpening kits in the future. I always wind up putting things in this chest by mistake. Okay, so if I put an obsidian sharpening kit on my osmium pickaxe, then I should be cool. Nice. And you've got how many modifiers on you at the moment? Eh, we'll find out in a second. Four modifiers, and that doesn't even adjust it, I don't think. Oh wait, we need flint. Don't we need flint? Hey, yeah, quest complete. Harvest level six. Woohoo! Uh, flint, 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 flint. I believe is required to add on a modifier like that. Yeah, and it doesn't look like it uses up a mod. Yeah, all right, neat. I'll take uh, I'll take that. Fortified with obsidian. That's what's up. Okay. So that's cool. Do I want to put any other modifiers on there? I think I need to go get some uranium, because I don't think I've gotten it yet, because like I said, I'm almost relatively positive that uranium needed obsidian tier. So let me go mining for a little bit. I'll meet you guys down in the mining caves uh, once I find some uranium, because that's going to be required. Uh, what else do I need besides that if I want an engineering block? We need the hardened one. So that everything else looks reasonably doable. So clean up inventory, go mining, be right back. Yep, confirmed. Needed obsidian. Sweet. So while I'm here, I'll do a little bit more mining only because, uh, you know, why not? Cool. Back in a few. 
All right, that's probably a sufficient amount of mining for now. I mined for a good while. No idea how long, but it seemed like a, it felt like a long time. It definitely felt like a long time. We'll uh, figure out what kind of loots we got when we get back to the base. Assuming that I can survive the run, because nighttime and bad guys and oh boy, look at all those creepers. I should I should come up with like a new mining cave system somewhat nearby to my base, so I don't have to run across a monster-filled nighttime. Ah! Got it. Woot! And I can't sleep right now because there's monsters nearby. Not that many monsters nearby. Calm down. Hey, how do we make out? Uh, we got a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of ore to process, including uranium, by the way. We got 48 uranium, so that's cool. That stuff was not too bad to come by. Uh, we can put you guys away. Should maybe add andesite to my... Ooh, we got some preserved curiosity. Those are nice. Uh, let's see. Mob drops, gems. And then I also put redstone in here for reasons that should now be obvious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, redstone seems super common in this pack. I don't know if it's like world gen is different or how it works, but there is a lot of redstone to be found for sure. Uh, and we didn't do too bad on diamonds and lapis either. So overall, not a bad haul. Nice. So with that taken care of, we should now be able to process our uranium so that we can get uh, the plates that we need. So let's see, what can I do with uranium? Can I enrichment chamber you guys? Uh, I can, and you get uranium grit, which then can be smelted. So let's go process that in our mechanism room. So you, buddy. And then you guys, I'm gonna split you up. So let's come back in a few minutes when processing's done. Does that sound uh, appropriate? Yeah. All right, so looks like I can use the metal former to make these guys, sweet. And because I like to do metal former use on demand, I might throw a few overclocker upgrades in there. We'll see how many I can throw in before it becomes a problem. Hey, it's become a problem. It's enough to get a few in though, so that's cool. All right, good deal. So now I should be able to get heavy engineering because we need reinforced alloys, which is enriched alloys in the diamond thing. We might have a few enriched alloys. We have one. Which one is that? Iron? Yeah. So I basically... Do that. And how many do I need of this? Two. That shouldn't be too bad. And that uses only 10 of that stuff. Um, and I can always enrich diamonds to get a decent amount of uh, this stuff populated. Alright, so that's what we need for that. So then the only thing missing is the steel scaffolding and this stuff. So we might still have some iron plates. We have just enough iron plates. Look at that. Booyah. For one. <laughs> just enough for one. So let's throw four more iron over here. Into our metal roller, which should process pretty quickly. What if I made it three? How does that do on my power? Not bad, but still not great. I should look into upgrading this guy to a CESU or something like that. Cool. Can we process copper real quick, please? We got a little bit of copper. Not, not a great amount of copper, but a little bit. So you get to work, buddy. Okay. So now I should have what we need to make this, provided I snag the actual copper that I have. So we can make two of them. Now we just need the steel scaffolding, for which we need steel ingots, right? Does this recipe work? Steel, what? Steel plate, piston, and redstone block equals one steel rod. Okay, so I need one. So I need one set of these, which means I need three steel rods, right? Okay. So I need three blocks of redstone, three pistons, and three steel plates. Okay. Uh, not the end of the world, by you know, clearly not the end of the world, but uh, still along the lines of. 
So we'll make that happen real quick. Pistons are kind of annoying to craft. They need iron plates and compressed cobble. Not the end of the world, but you do get two from that. And it needs treated wood as well. Um, so snagging those pistons out of the out of the thing was at the, the, the village was a good idea. Um, for sure. Okay, so now we should be cool to get three of you which can be used to make steel scaffolding, which means I should now be able to make one of you, and that gets me four heavy engineering blocks. So then we need yet another piston, and we need our hammer. Oh, that's right, I, I, I had some stuff that I had to throw in here because reasons. Uh, you can go back, what I get? Uh, I got a steel leaf decent thing there. I have more stuff to put away. All right, and then I need conveyors, right? Because that's the last piece of what we need. Ooh, there's a whole cyclic conveyor belt system. Neat. Uh, but for that, we're going to need three rubber. Well, that seems easy enough. Sweet. All right, so let's go set this thing up over here. You know what else I'm going to need is, is, is some wiring. Uh, MV <coughs> cables and relays. Uh, I might do is this just so I can have a little bit of an easier time let's do that yeah let's do that ah well, that wasn't supposed to break but it's not the end of the world because I can do that and we're fixed cool so then let's take that let's do this with this how's that work does that work I think that works and then here is where I'll build this guy so I've built this enough times where I think I know how it works but I'm gonna find out if my memory is as good as I like to believe it is piston goes here this guy goes there we are gonna need to tap into that spot to put power, but that's okay, we can manage. Uh, and then we just need our conveyor belts to do that and that, and then hit this dude. Nice, cool. So that's the foundation. Now what we need to go along with that, uh, besides power, is the plates. So we need um, uh, the, the blueprint, is that what it's called? Yeah. So blueprint for metal press molds is three lapis, three paper, and a steel plate. Three lapis, three paper, and a steel plate. Okay. Uh, so we might have paper. If not, we have we have two paper. So let's get three sugar cane for a paper. Three lapis. And that's cool, right? So over here, I made an extra chest, right? Yeah, I did. Actually, I have no idea why I have so many chests, but whatever. Uh, so hey, if I want this one, it's five steel plate and an engineer's wire cutters. Do I have an engineer's wire cutters? I can get one. So five steel plate and an engineer's wire cutters. And that'll get me the, the press that I need to make those wires way more efficiently, right? Because remember, we're trying to get an empowerer here, right? To get that, we need uh, access to the advanced coils, which needs gold cable, which we now have because we have the rolling machine from IC2. It needs impregnated six, which we've got covered. And it needs inuri crystals and impregnated six, which we have covered, and aluminum wire. So for this recipe, it's one aluminum becomes one aluminum wire. But since we're probably gonna want a lot of these, I'm deciding to make the metal press so that I can get an aluminum ingot in there that'll double it and be more efficient. Cool. So let's grab some aluminum so we can be prepared for this. 
Uh, so what I'd like to have is some aluminum ingots, which I'm assuming I have some of. I might only have the ore. I may not have ever processed any aluminum. Let's go take care of that. Sweet, that's good enough for me. I wouldn't mind a hopper. Just uh, cause, and I believe a hopper is going to require some iron plates, right? Five iron plates equals a hopper. Yeah, or aluminum plates for that matter. But iron plates is the way we're gonna go. Around a chest, which I have some of. By the way, I've, I've, I've defaulted to using treated wood planks for my chests. It's just easier. I've got so much creosote now that it's not as much of a problem. So what I should be able to do is pop over to here. I'm hoping this works. Right, so you plus you equals you. I can't place a block there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work. But what I could put it is here. Psst, this is the part where you work. I like how it's faster though. That's actually really quick. I did note, remember it said that they changed the speed of some of the machines in here? That metal press is a lot quicker than it normally is, which is cool. My only issue uh, at the moment is I can't put a hopper right here because there's a block there, right? So I might need to move it over one, which, you know, would not be the end of the world. Why don't I do that real quick? Let's clean this up. What I'm going to do is move this, 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 and this. Okay, so then we can put this guy here, the engineer here, this, the hardened, or the, the heavy, I mean, UU conveyors here and here, hammer it, there you go, one more extra leadstone, and you're good, and then I should be able to hopper you alike, so, cool, all right, and that should be good, so I'm just going to test that with one aluminum ingot, and then I'll be happy with the progress. Or six lumen mangots for that matter. Huh. That should be working. Uh oh. Oh nope, we're cool. We're cool. <laughs> there was there was a sudden lag spike there for a sec. Oh right, 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 right. That might not be working because of that. Hang on. Dire derps a plenty. Yep, now we're cool. So a little dire wiry, but not the end of the world. I like it. It's a little compact, but it fits. It does technically fit. I'll take it. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We've now got that machine, which also can make plates for us, just saying. Just saying. It can make plates for us if we wanted it to. Um, you know. And I bet, I bet it's just as fast at making plates. I kind of, kind of want to see if that's the case. Because if it is, I might start using that for plates. Because that's really quick. Whereas this is really slow, that's really quick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because um, then what we could do is this. 
for the plate. It also can make gears, just, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh yeah, that's fast. I like that. I like that. Um, let's all let's let's get it to make five more. And we'll get it, the gear press. I was not going to use this because I didn't think it was that fast, but oh boy, is it fast! I like that. Um, Isn't copper gear a thing? So you can't put four in at a time. That's your that's your that's your problem. That works. So we'd have to drop it if we're gonna do the gears. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's so fast. Way better than that process. I'm down. I'm I am I am down. I like it. Ideally I would have um one press per Per type of, uh, of of mold, but I mean, I'm cool with this. All right, yeah, we got to wrap up the episode though. So let's come back next time. We've got a that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm really like that. Uh, but we'll come back next time. We'll uh, I don't know what actually additions. Yeah, that that's what we're gonna do next time. Uh, we'll probably get the I'm gonna just put all this stuff away and all my metals can go away and my dust just clean up my inventory we'll come back next time we'll we'll get actually additions hopefully the empower going and we can get a drill and then we'll have access to even better resources for mining and that'll be cool and uh we'll kind of continue along our technical progressions and at some point soon we'll probably have to dip into magic which uh which will be cool because i get to play with thumbcraft and and uh astral sorcery and all those mods that i enjoy playing with uh all right for now double 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode take it easy